Hello, welcome to Godot Game Engine tutorial. In today's tutorial, we are going to be looking at how to create a pop-up menu. From the previous tutorial, we implemented how to transition from the menu scene to the game scene. For this tutorial, we are going to be looking at when this info button is clicked, how to show info pop-up menu and how to hide it. And the same for the setting pop-up menu. Now let's go ahead and get started. To get started, let's open up the Godot application and open our previous game project. Now let's go ahead and open it. Now I already went and create pop-up menu game assets that I'll be using. Now if you need them, you can let me know so that I can upload them to GitHub or at my website so that you can download them. However, I will encourage you to try to learn to create your own game assets since in the long run, it is something that will really be beneficial to you. Now let's go ahead and create the pop up menu now for this tutorial we need two pop-up menus that is the info pop-up menu and the setting pop-up menu now let's make sure that the menu scene is selected since this is going to be the parent of the pop-up menu and then we press the plus button and then search for pop-up and for this tutorial we are interested in the pop-up menu now let's go ahead and create it and by default it is hidden so we can just go ahead and just press the plus button to show it now from here we can rename it as info pop-up menu or you can name it anyhow you want and now we are going to add different nodes to this pop-up menu now let's go ahead and add a background that is going to be a sprite node we just make sure that the pop-up menu is selected and we search for sprite node and then we give it an image now in my asset folder i have pop-up asset now that's where i keep all my distance so i just select the pop-up menu background now from here i also want to add another sprite image that is just i duplicate this one and rename it as just logo and then give it a info icon now i want to position this on top so that the person will know that this is an info pop-up menu now info pop-up menu will also have a text label but for this tutorial since Godot default text system is not really very pretty now we're going to be using a text image for this tutorial however in the later tutorial I'm going to show you how to use a custom text labels in your Godot game project now for now I'll just use a sprite note I'll just duplicate the logo and name it as game description and press enter now I have an image that is going to be the text of the pop-up menu I just drag it to the center of the pop-up menu now from there i also want a button inside this pop-up menu when it is pressed the pop-up menu will be hidden now this close button is going to be a texture button now let's make sure that the info pop-up menu is selected again and we add the texture button and name it as close button now we give it a texture and we drag it to the wherever we want it for me i, I want to put it at the bottom of the pop-up menu now we have the pop-up menu now let's go ahead and center it at the center of the game now we can select the parent node that is the pop-up the info pop-up menu and head over to the position now we can center it at 375 that is half of the screen and 667 i want to center it at the center but this one i'm going to lower it a little bit it's going to be 800 so that i want to hide the play button now after adding the info pop-up menu and aligning it at the center of the game screen we can also do the same for the setting pop-up menu for simplicity's sake i'm just going to duplicate the info pop-up menu by pressing command d and renaming it as setting pop-up menu and then for the setting pop-up menu it's going to have a background and of course a logo but the logo for the setting pop-up menu is going to be a gear icon now i just go ahead and change the logo to a gear and there is not going to be any game description i'll just go ahead and delete that by you right click on the sprite and then down at the bottom of the options you'll see delete so you just delete it now it's also going to have a close button and plus three other button now what i will do is i will duplicate the close button and add the various textures for the three buttons now the first button is going to be mute sound button and the second one is going to be levels button and the last one is going to be leaderboard and don't forget to press enter whenever you change a value in godot as i mentioned in the first tutorial you always need to press enter for it to take effect all right so the level buttons we need to assign the level buttons a texture i have the textures here and the leaderboard is going to be leaderboard the mute sound is going to be mute sound texture i'll go ahead and position these buttons inside the 
pop-up menu after adding the two pop-up menus now what we need is when the info button is pressed we saw the info pop-up menu and when the close button is pressed we close that pop-up menu and we also need to do the same for the gear icon and as you might guess we are going to use Godot signals again to implement the closing the sewing and the hiding of pop-up menus now let's go ahead and get started remember from the previous tutorial we already know how to attach a press signal to a button now we just select the info button we head over to the node on the left side of the inspector and then select this press signal and then connect it to the main script that is the menu script we created in the previous tutorial now we want to show the pop-up menu that is the info pop-up menu now to show the info pop-up menu we first need to reference it in our code now if you're from html5 and javascript as you know if a div have an id you need to reference it you need to get the element by id now in godo 2 you also need to get the component you need to get the node and that node you can manipulate it anyhow you want now we first need to get the info pop-up menu now let's let us first go ahead and declare a variable that is var we call it info pop-up menu and at the ready function that is the function that is called when the scene is loaded when it is ready now that's where we are going to get the info pop-up menu now we'll just say info pop-up menu is equal to in godot you just get the node and then the part of the node the one we need is the info pop-up menu now we have a reference to this info pop-up menu now if you want to close it we just need to go inside the signal the method that is going to be called when the button info button is pressed now to show the info pop-up menu we just type info pop-up menu dot so that's all what we need in order to show the pop-up menu that is the info pop-up menu however we also want it to close whenever we press the close button now let's switch back to the 2d and hide the setting pop-up menu for now since we are not working with it right now you can just press the i button here to hide it now i want when this close button is pressed we hide this pop-up menu we just select the close button we head over to the signals and then connect the press button there you connect it to the menu scene and still the same we just take the info pop-up menu dot hide now this will hide the pop-up menu now we can just go ahead and do the same for the setting button Now after doing the same for the setting pop-up menu, the first thing I did was to have a variable that is a reference in order to reference the setting pop-up menu. And I switch to the main scene and connect the setting button. That is whenever it is pressed to show this one. That is what I did here. I just went to the signals and connect that to the main script. And when it is shown, I just want to show the setting pop-up menu. And also since the close button in both pop-up menu are the same, so they will all be connected to this function so that's why i just put both menus like whenever the close button is pressed both of them should be hidden now let's go ahead and run our project and see now this is the project now when we press the info button the pop-up menu for the info button source and when we press the close button it closes now let's press the gear button now the setting pop-up menu will also show and if you press the close it will close now that's it for this tutorial since i don't want to cover animation players in this tutorial until future tutorials that's it for this tutorial in the next tutorial we are going to be looking at the how to create our player and in the future tutorials we are going to look at how to polish the games and other stuff thank you for watching see you in the next tutorial